Hey everybody, it's me Liv. So today I'm going to be making some of my own washi tape here. Um, I saw a video with someone using the thicker white tape um, that is available. Um, you know, I guess like the um, masking tape that comes in white. Um, and I thought, I wonder if I can do this with scotch tape. I started looking around. It looks like you can. Most of the videos that I had seen started using something along the lines with alcohol ink. If you are using the thicker white on one, I'm sure you can, you don't necessarily need to do that. So what you see me doing here is taking out three different colors of alcohol ink. Um, one thing I will tell you is that you definitely need to have some blending because it there is really no way to kind of spread this as easily as you normally would be able to. Um, and you actually don't need to put on tons because it does um, soak up pretty good. Uh, so it's better actually not to put as much what I noticed. So now um, I noticed that I have a little bit too much ink, had a couple of plank spots. Um, so I'm going to just try to fill it in. But one thing I will warn you, because I'm going to do two sets in this video, is you really do not need to use too much ink. I would try to avoid doing it as much as possible. As you can see with my heat gun, I was trying to decrease the amount of ink that I have. You can see how much it was pooling up. Then I tried this, which is a little bit of a fail, figuring that I could tap some paper on it ended up pulling up way too much sometimes and getting bare spots on the tape. Um, fortunately, I was able to kind of go back in and fill in any of those gaps that I ended up creating here, um, but I would not try that. But again, if you do this, less is more and you can definitely move it around um, the air either with a straw or if you have one of the pipe blows, um, you can move that as well. So next, now I have it dried off, I'm using some VersaClair in the nocturnal color using one of my studio light ones. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp on top of this. Now this comes out really good if you um, are looking to create some type of mixed media type tape. Um, just need to keep stamping it up. Make sure it is as dry as possible so that it will cling a little bit more and you're not picking up too much of the ink. Uh, but you can use any type of stamp that you want here. If you end up getting uh, thicker strips of uh, tape, that would even look super cooler. Um, so I'm just trying to make sure I cover it all up. And now my set is pretty much all done. Let me see if I can just go ahead. I'm going to apply it onto this leftover plastic bag. Um, you'll see some other ones at the end of this video that I did. Um, and I wanted just to you know, quickly uh, show you, you can do this in tons of different colors and mediums. Um, so let's pick these up and see what they look like. Now, what do you, what do you guys think? I love the way that the color shines through the um, scotch tape style. Um, let me see if I can bring one up to you so that you can see it a little bit better. Isn't that so cool? Now I'm going to move on to another set that I'm going to be doing. Uh, this time I am trying to keep from putting as much ink as I did last time, going with more a, a um, blue, brown, and I think I use a little bit of an orangey, so kind of more of a fallish kind of scheme that you're gonna see here. Um, what I ended up finding was a lot better was to between each color, use the blower to spread it out. That actually ended up helping it dry quicker too. Um, so definitely try that if you're going to um, be using this method. Um, and then once I had those down, you can see I can get the blower to kind of move it around a little bit more. Um, ends up giving it just a little bit more depth um, here. Um, there's really no good way. I guess I could try to lift it to see if it'll move, but because I'm not using too much alcohol blending here, um, it doesn't really move as well. So, you know, using the Tim Holtz tool to kind of push the air around is uh, probably ideal. Um, I need to put just a little bit more of uh, blue. This like green blue that I have here, so kind of sprinkle it around, get a cool effect um, onto this tape. And then I want just a little bit more of this reddish orange color too. So now that I have that all set, 
I am going to then try to dry this off just a tad bit and then get to stamping. Since this is my video of experiments, I'm going to keep my mistakes in here and maybe you guys can build on and learn from it when you do it. So in my head, I was thinking very much like a card, I might be able to use the alcohol lift ink and actually lift up the design so you can see it and it would appear um, much more translucent on the tape. Now, what ended up happening is it did not seem to work. I don't know if it's because if it's too small of a surface or just because of the uh, material, but once I stamped it and I did try to do it twice, even added some re-inking um, of the blending inker in that to that pad um, and did try to go over it, but it just, just didn't lift that much. Now, just like with the card, if you do a technique like this, you want to go in with a napkin and kind of wipe off um, and so that the padding can pop up. It wasn't horrible, but not anywhere what I was thinking in my mind that it was going to come out. So it did create a couple little patterns here and there. Um, but because it wasn't really achieving the look that I was hoping for, I'm going to go ahead and take out my back to the Versa Claire in black um, and go ahead and just do my stamping there. Now, with the camera view that you have here, you can't really see the black as well, uh, but this tape is actually pretty translucent because of the other side since it's scotch tape. So I'm gonna lift just one up for you and bring it closer to the camera so you can see how you can actually see through this tape and look at that pattern. Isn't that so cool? Um, I really love the way this comes out. Now, this one had a little bit of the lift a little bit better, so I wanted to zoom it up so you can see um, how the lift worked. And then finally, what I'm gonna do is take all of these tapes. I am using a 12 by 12 plastic um, sheet here that I have left over. Um, and I'm going to attach all the different ones that I've done, both in this video, and I have a couple ones that I experimented with in um, the another time on my own, just to see how they would come out. Now, as a warning, be sure that everything is fully dry. Once it's dry, it won't lift, but if it's still wet, it will lift. Um, and you can see that you can use any combo of alcohol inks. That purplish pinkish like beige one that you see in between the orange and the new one that I just did. Um, it is actually done with Distress Oxide. I didn't particularly love how it came out. It's not horrible. Kind of cool. But wouldn't say it's on my top fave um, really. So if you're going to try Distress Oxides. If you can find that white based scotch tape, um, I would use that. I think that would come out a lot cooler um, than using clear tape here, but not a bad technique at all if you want to give that a shot. So I hope I gave you guys some ideas of some ways to experiment to make your own kind of style of washi tape to use with your junk journals, your mixed media, your art journaling or anything along those lines. Um, if you're going to place it down, be sure you are using something plastic underneath so it's very easy to lift up. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.